I want to mention also uh, Lucia Anguissola, the younger sister, the third oldest uh, in the family. Once again, we don't know her date of birth. We just have to sort of guess from the parents' marriage date and how many children were born, just an approximate date. We're not positive of her date of death, but we're fairly close, we're, we're close to it. Uh, because we know that Vasari came to visit the family in uh, 1566 and was mentioning that the daughter had recently died. So um, that suggests you know, the date just the year earlier. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of pictures by Lucia. Um, there's a few that are certainly by her, and then there are some others that are attributed to her. So I'm only showing you two paintings. Uh, one is a self-portrait. Um, we think that uh, Lucia was probably taught by her older sister, Sophonispa, you know, that there were the lessons for the two oldest girls, and then they would teach the other girls. Uh, we do know that she died young um, and unmarried. Uh, she was in her 20s. She might have been in her upper 20s um, from the, the approximate dates, as you can see here. And uh, one of the things they say she imitates is this kind of uh, hand gesture where there's a kind of a uh, trapezoid or square uh, made with, between the fingers of the hand and the thumb. So uh, we see a self-portrait here. Uh, she's, she's reading the small book. She's showing she's educated. It would either be a prayer book, uh, showing piety, or a book of poetry, you know, showing uh, just a, you know, aristocratic uh, activity. Uh, once again, she looks very modest. This is a portrait of Pietro Mana. And sometimes you'll see slight variations of the name, spelling of the name. It'll be like Pietro Maria. Uh, that's because Vasari got the name wrong, and so people would follow Vasari. But it has been documented uh, that this is actually a portrait of a physician of, Cor of Cremona named Pietro Mana. Um, also, if you're reading some of the literature, there'll be a reference to him as the grandfather of the girls. This seems to be a mistake, a misreading of an abbreviation in a document or an inscription. Um, but remember we said that Almacari, um, the Anguissola girl's father, was very interested in promoting the fame of his daughters. And so he's evidently invited Vasari to come and see the works that are still in the family household uh, and meet uh, the, the girls that are there. Uh, by this time, Sophonispa is in Spain. And Vasari says, that he sees this portrait by Lucia, he describes it, portrait of a physician, and he mentions that Lucia has recently died. Uh, he praises uh, Sophonispa, Lucia, and the younger girls. Uh, he praises them uh, as artists, and uh, also he praises them uh, as uh, virtuous young ladies. And he writes about them, uh, Sophonispa and her sisters, in the second edition of his Lives of the Artist, which is published in 1568. Vasari's description would have told us that this painting is by uh, Luc uh, Lucia Anguissola. However, uh, if you had any doubts, she has written her name on the armrest um, of, the, of the chair that the uh, sitter is sitting in. Uh, Lucia Anguissola, Omacaris, and then the F, which would stand uh, for daughter, or philia, adolescence, and another F, which would stand for facet. Uh, so it would mean Lucia Anguissola, the daughter of Omacari, adolescent, made, made this picture. This was the picture that I wrote, uh, a paper that I've given uh, at one conference. I'm going to give it at another conference. Um, and I, I'm probably going to put a copy of it uh, on the website if you are interested. Uh, and I got very interested in the whole idea of uh, the classical references in this picture. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the things that I said. Um, one of the things you'll see in that inscription is an emphasis on the family. 
She doesn't just say, Lucia Anguissola made this. She said, tell us who she is. She's the daughter of Omakari. You know, there's family pride there. She's emphasizing her youth. So she probably, you know, do the math, uh, if this were done around 1560, we don't know, and if she was born around 1537, so, you know, she probably, yeah, she probably is in her 20s at the time. Now, one of the reasons that we are able to, to know who this person is, is there was a medal struck with his name, and it identifies him as uh, Pietro Mana, a physician of Cremona, and as you can see, um, there is a profile portrait of him. Uh, he certainly resembles the man in the picture, uh, maybe a little younger. And on the back, there is a uh, classical scene, uh, and it is uh, Escapuleus, the physician god being struck down by Zeus. Uh, the story in classical antiquity uh, was that the physician god uh, was so skilled that he was able to restore the dead. And Jupiter, or Zeus, was not going to let that power go into human hands or even into a, a demigod's hands. <laughs> uh, and uh, this, this strikes him down. So um, that is the, the picture that we see on the back. So it is a reference to the classical physician uh, and related to, of course, the, the supposedly the great skill of the, um, of the uh, 16th century physician from Cremona. Now, I got very interested in the staff that he was holding. Uh, someone's officially identified the exact breed of snake, which is a local snake. Uh, but I was interested in the classical reference. Um, this, of course, is the Asclepian rod or Asclepian wand, uh, the staff of the uh, god Asclepius uh, that uh, is the symbol of physicians, which has uh, one snake wrapping around it. And here we have a little classical statue to tell, show you what it, what it looks like from uh, ancient Roman times. Uh, looks like a big club almost with the large snake around it, and here we have a somewhat reduced thing. So it's interesting because it is an emblem of the physician. It's also a classical emblem. And I have tried to find uh, emblems of the physician as an individual rather than just sort of, you know, uh, the god or uh, medical personnel in general, and it's the symbol of, of, of medicine or something. And actually putting this rod with the um, actual portrait of a, of a particular physician, this is the first one I've been able to find. Uh, and I, so I, you know, I, don't, I hesitate to say it is the first one because, you know, I, I don't, probably may not know all of them, but it certainly uh, seems to be, as far as I've been able to find out so far. So it is undoubtedly a reference to his profession as a physician. However, there's something I have not seen in any of the literature, except I've seen the, the, the talk about the artist's name, but I've never seen it connected with this. This tells us that Lucia has some classical knowledge, uh, that she knows who the Greco-Roman god of physicians is. So that you know, testifies to her humanistic knowledge. So right there, uh, you know, family pride in showing that you have an educated young lady. But what I have not seen at all is the fact that it's a pun on the family name. Now, I've seen people say that this is what the family name means, but they haven't connected it with this painting as far as I know. The artist's family name is Angui Solo. Angui is snake. Solo is, well, solo is what it sounds like. It's a single or one alone, snake alone, or uh, as I translate it a little uh, alliter alliteratively, uh, the single serpent, or the snake alone, if you want. Um, and so I kind of think that this is not just a reference to the uh, 
the profession of the sitter, which is the, the thing that you would first think of, but I think it's also an emblematic reference to the artist's name and her family name. She is Anguissola. She is the single serpent. Uh, and her fam that is her family name. So there, that hasn't been published yet. <laughs>